Good evening, Roxy Baptist Church family. I uh, want to come to you again in the middle of the week, January the 6th, uh, with our Bible study and prayer time. I just hope uh, that uh, the middle of the week finds you doing well. We wish you and uh, your family the best uh, in the new year, 2021. And we hope and pray uh, that you're trusting the Lord as he leads us into this new year. So this evening, as we get ready to get started, let's go to the Lord in prayer as uh, we start. Father, Lord, we thank you again for your love, Lord, for your encouragement. Father, we thank you for choosing us. Father, we thank you for the salvation uh, that you have given us uh, through your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that we would not take that salvation lightly. Lord, that we would use it. Lord, to sing your praises, we would use it. Lord, to encourage one another, that we would use it to find, uh, find ourselves a uh, positive light. Uh, Lord, that we would uh, be faithful to you through this next coming year, that we would be hopeful, that we might be encouraged, Lord, because of who you are and not on our circumstances. Father God, Lord, we do pray for our country. Lord, we pray that all the turmoil that's going on within our country might soon subside and settle down. Uh, Father God, Lord, we pray for the strength of our leaders. Father, we ask you to watch over and protect them. Father, we pray that you be with our military all around the world, those that serve our country. And Father God, Lord, we pray, yes, that you be with our fellow Americans that are sick and still fighting this dreaded disease of COVID-19. Father, for those folks right here in Franklin County that are battling this sickness, and Father, we pray that you would be with them and you'd watch over them. But Father God, Lord, tonight, as we come together as the family of Roxy Baptist Church, Lord, as we all desire to be together in your house, we pray that that would happen soon. But Lord, tonight, uh, while we're still separated, Lord, and having to meet virtually, Father, we pray that you might speak to us through your word, and Lord, that we might share in a time of prayer for those that need it. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight, we're going to be looking in Psalms 139, Psalms 139. Nine. Uh, this was a part of uh, one of my devotions earlier today, uh, and it just encouraged my heart. Uh, as you think about this, uh, um, David, you know, man after God's own heart, and uh, David had to deal with the fact of who David was. We do know that, that David had his ups and he had his downs. There was the time when he went out and did what he had to do to have the faith to uh, slay Goliath. Then we also know what it was like uh, when David uh, killed Uriah, or had, or well, we as he was responsible for Uriah's death. We understand what it was like when the prophet come in and told him that he was that one. We understand what it was like for David when he went out and he took the census. And he began to believe that it was his victories the, and not God's victory. Oh, man, I want to tell you something. Folks, here's the thing that I'm trying to get you to understand. 2021, yes, we're going to share in 2021. But the victories, like Paul said, you know what? With the Lord, it's yes, but it's his yes. We get to share in it. We get to play a part in it. As we look at the lives of these folks, you know, this Sunday, we're going to be looking in the life of Noah looking in the life of Noah and how it must have been for him and how even in his life at times it must have been discouraged, discouraging to him to have to face the opposition, to face the struggles, to face the strife as we continue looking at, you know, stressed to impress. You know, God is allowing us to go through these stresses that he might impress upon us how much we need him almost and also how much he loves us but to also use our life to impress upon others that are out there still searching and seeking that there is one that loves and cares and will see them through and so we let our light shine uh, before men that they would acknowledge it and glorify our Father in heaven. So when you think about these things all together, I want you to, to, to hear here in verse 6 and 7 uh, two things I was thinking about. And that is this man, you know, David had just got through uh, basically uh, 
this psalm poem to the Lord and how much the Lord knew him, how much the Lord had searched him. You know, God knew the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what? God knew who he was. He knew how much David needed him. And he knew when David did something and when David didn't. You know, so many times today we think we hide things. You know, uh, it's an amazing thing. Um, you know, when we were back at our home and our kids were growing up, uh, we used to tell them that you got to do your chores each and every day and you got to keep your room clean. And I'll never forget Sometimes the way Ryan liked to do his clothes, his mama would give him his clothes downstairs to take upstairs. And he used to take them up there and lay them on the, on the bed. And then mama would come around and say, Ryan, you're not putting those clothes up there on the bed. And Ryan had a big old closet with a chest of drawer inside the closet. And then what he started doing after that, sometimes he would take them in there and put them on top of the chest of drawer. And then other times he'd take them in there instead of hanging his pants and stuff up like he might just drop them on the floor, shut the door. Because see, he, mama couldn't see that. She mama walked into the door or to the to the top of the stairs there and look in his door and they wasn't on the bed and it was like he had them hidden. You know what? Sometimes it's like that with us, with God. Uh, we think uh, because something is going on or not being seen right now that it's being hidden. But I want you to understand something. David realized who he was, and he knew God seen all things. He said, you know, he knew, he understood um, his thoughts from afar off. He also knew his his uh, setting up, or his sitting down and rising up. I want you to understand, that's what it is. David said that God had an intimate knowledge of who David was, and he celebrated it. He celebrated God's intimate knowledge of who David was, but he also celebrated the fact not only did God know who he was, but that God had created him. And then it, from the very beginning, God loved him. You know what? Uh, God, you know, one of the hardest uh, things sometimes that uh, we'll talk about this weekend is to, uh, in God's house, is to hear about how frustrated God came with man uh, when he had to destroy his creation and the earth because of, you know, and I, I think about that. And I want you to look at verse six and seven with me real quick. Uh, is he said, you know, David had been talking and said, you know what? Um, you know, my sitting down, my rising up, you know me better than I know myself, basically. Uh, uh, you know what? He said, you're acquainted with all my ways, all those things he said. And he said, you even put a hedge Behind me and before me, you know what he said, you, you're taking care of me. And then listen what it says in verse six. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's too high. I cannot attain it. In other words, he can't, he just can't fathom. He can't understand how God can know so much about him. And then God is still willing to take part. You know, I told you, that's what we're going to be doing. 2021 is God's. It's his. If we're going to relinquish control, because we're not in control anyway, but God is. It's his. So back off and understand that we're going to have to work at it, enjoy the ride. You know what? I love what I seen yesterday. You know, I'm, I'm telling you this now. I don't want you to think for a minute that we ought to just sit back and absolutely do nothing as Christians and expect God to do everything in 2021. Because I love what somebody had shown on a, a something the other day, and it said something like this. It said, you know, you know, you can have faith. You can have faith. But it doesn't have, it can't be the kind of uh, faith in God or believe God's in control, but it can't be the kind that would prop up on the shovel and believe the hole will get dug. See, sometimes we got to understand faith without works is dead. We have to get involved. We have to get plugged in. Even though we're trusting God, act upon faith. Move in the direction that God is going and allow God to reveal to us where we ought to be working and serving him. That's what we need to do. Not just stand back and say, okay, God, I'll see you December 31st, 2021. And we'll just celebrate what you've done. No, today's the day. 
January the 6th, 2021. Now's the time to get involved. Now is this. Well, well you just don't understand, Brother Jamie, because I, 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 I'm, I'm afraid. I'm fearful. David said, you know what? God knows those things. God, he already knows we're fearful. He are, turn it over to him. Say, okay, Lord, help strengthen me, Lord. Right now, get up to, today, tomorrow. Put on the full armor of God. Trust in him, believing him. You know what? I don't know when and what I ought to be. Well, you know what? God knows our sitting down, our rising up. You know what? And it, it, it's, you know what? He comprehends. He comprehends those things. You know what? He's acquainted with all our ways. Nothing surprises him. You know what? He understands and sometimes, you know, what we don't do is protect ourselves from certain circumstances, certain situations. You know what? If you know there's a situation that's going on out there in that world that you're subject to falling down, if you were being involved in that or if you're going to get upset, you know what? Maybe, you know, maybe it's this. Uh, do what I've done. Folks, turn off the news. Don't listen to it. It breeds negativity. You know what? Trusting in the Lord. Believe God for it. Why? You know what? Because David said, man, I understand who God is and God knows me better than I understand. You know, he didn't say I figured God out. He said, I, God has figured me out. God has figured me out and I accept that. And this knowledge, he said, is so wonderful to me. He said, it excites me so. You know what? It, it, it's as high that I can't, I can't even understand. I can't even, I can't fathom why. I can't believe. I can't even understand why God would do it. But I know this. I can't, I hadn't figured God out, but I trust him. Verse seven, he gives on also this idea of, of who David is before God. Uh, and that meaning, you know what, sometimes, uh, um, Sometimes we might find ourselves uh, in a situation of lacking or shame uh, in a sense. And, and this is what I find here. Listen to verse 7. Uh, he said, where can I go from your spirit? You know what? Get this. Or where can I flee from your presence? He understood who he, David is, but he also understood who God was. See, he understood that the fact that God loved him, and he couldn't understand why he would. He couldn't fathom the, 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 why God would choose him. But he also knew this. He would have to accept who God is because he knew that even with his understanding that God loved him, that there was no way that he could get away from who God was. What does that mean? Well, I want you to understand, I don't think it was so much here as it was uh, that David was trying to hide himself, but he understood that God was reaching out to David from the very beginning. You know what, what, he's, what he's saying here is, you know what, there is nowhere I could go that I could run from you. Why? Because you wanted me. In other words, David is painting you this picture of God's pursuit of David. And I want you to understand this pursuit. Over 2021, God is pursuing you and I. God is pursuing this world. To, it might be changed. That the lost might be saved. You know what? I want you to understand that. I want you to believe that. You know what? David is saying, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? Understand this is a picture here of one person. You know what David said? I can go and hide. I can go and run. But you're going to be there. You're going to be finding me, following me. You know what? I want you to understand. Uh, pursuing. But you know what? I pray that we don't run from God. I pray that we run toward him. And it's kind of like, my little grandsons get excited. You know, uh, the other evening we went up when the boys wanted to, uh, on, uh, we didn't get to go New Year's Eve because it was raining, but on the next day on Saturday afternoon, we went up there and took them some firecrackers and let them shoot those fire, uh, fireworks off that night. And we had a little supper together that night. But I remember little old Briggs, 
uh, when I, I got out a little late, they were already up there and he seen that door open. He turned back and he looked and he seen it was Papa and he come down there and he come down to where I was at and he stuck his little hand up and he wanted to say, come on, Papa, come on. And when I reached out, he was basically like he was pulling me up there because he was excited about what was going on and he wanted to show me. I want to tell you something, folks, because God knows how 2021 is going to turn out. He's excited. He's excited about what he wants to do in your life and what he wants to do in the life of the church and what he wants to do in the life of the lost. He's excited about that. And I pray that we will run toward him. And then when he seeks us out, he'll find us and he'll lead us into 2021 with excitement. He'll say, come on and see, come see, come see, come see. I pray that's your desire. You know what? Because God is pursuing us and God wants us to have a great relationship with him. He wants to have a great relationship with us. He wants to um, know more about us, which he knows everything there is to know about us. But you know, it's something when we share with them, when we share with him, we get up in the morning, we'll say, okay, Father God, Lord, today, Lord, I struggle. He already knows it. He sees it. But when he hears it come, Lord, I struggle today. Lord, I just pray for your strength. Lord, I pray that you might help me. Lord, that you would lead me and you'd guide me. You know what then? Because you know what? When we're willing to follow, he's willing to lead. Is that your desire? You know what? Uh, one of the things I can tell you, um, my wife just about knows me better than I know myself sometimes. Uh, because I'll think uh, I'm keeping something under wraps pretty good. You know, but she'll come in and I'll be sitting there or something or I'll have something on my heart or on my mind and I won't be saying much. And she'll look up and she'll say, hey, what's wrong? What's the matter? She can tell. I want you to know God knows what's going on. God knows what's wrong. But it seems that when I share with her and we share in it and then we pray, both pray about it, it gets better. You know what? When you share with God and then you pray and ask him to help, it'll get better. We'll get through this. Uh, let's turn our attention tonight toward our prayer sheet on January the 6th. Uh, we got in the hospital. Uh, hopefully it won't be long. Ricky will be coming home to, uh, later this afternoon, but uh, Ricky Whitehead is still in the hospital. Uh, nursing home is Louise Mayhew, Jennifer, Clo uh, Jennifer Coleman, uh, Dorothy Gamble, Sue Cotton, uh, Harry Nevels, Tanya Lee, uh, Norma Walker, Joellen Odom, Ruth Harrigal. Uh, and Jeannie Seals, Dan Ashley, I wanted to let you, remind you that Mr. Gene Lee did pass away. Uh, be praying uh, continually for his family over the next coming days. Uh, and hospice care is Jimmy and Virginia Priest. Homebound is Dot Roy, Edwin King, Bud Shell, Lionel Woodyard, Cynthia Woodyard, Betty Smith. Uh, remember in prayers, Clarice Deer, Joe A. Combs, Alyssa Strife, Ann Go Hagen, Cheryl Wilson, Louise Farr, Brenda Smith, Brenda Cotton, Kelly Wallace, Pat Jones, April Jordan, Pam McNeil, Ken McLemore, Bert Thornton, Cortez Bird, James Springs, Hayden Springs, Jennifer Arnold, Kenneth Kent, Quentin Durrell, Lisa Gray, Patty Brown, Val Durrell, uh, Marcus Durrell, Jennifer Williams, Tracy Brady, Kathleen Zumbro, Mary Ann Palmer, Peanut Boyd, Harold Hutchinson, Arlene Richardson, uh, Steve Travis, Shane Mann, uh, Jeff Mayer, Billy Havard, Vic Scott, uh, Prentice Cupid, Brad Mullins, uh, Donna Hawkins, Bennett McMahon, and of course, uh, uh, Brother Van and Miss Denise Windham as they continue their recovery uh, as well. Um, our service men and women is Kendall Buckles, David Toff, Dave Coy, Alan Von Kennel, Landon Berg, Bonnie Charles, John Farrell, Kane Gilliam, Scout Earls, Kevin Ginn, Colton Carr, Christian Johnston, Caleb Havard, John Wilkerson, Rusty Arnold, Eric Buckles, Zach Brown, Tristan Emery, Bud Nelson, Ted Bass, Finnegan Bailey, Chi Lara, Mallory Bird, David Brown, Mason Farrell, Braden White, law enforcement officers. <clears throat> I want to give you the opportunity now uh, you've heard the names that we've mentioned here that are on our prayer sheet 
There are probably, I know there are many others that we know of that need our prayer. Uh, think of our country. Um, think of our, our, our local officials. Think of our, our county, our folks in our county that are sick. I continue to remember uh, Miss Barbara Pilgrim as she rehabs. Uh, you know, so many that are right here within Franklin County. I thought I seen a number the other day, 618 people in, uh, or 618 cases of COVID uh, in uh, Franklin County. Not sure how many of those that are still uh, recovering, but pray for those uh, that, that are sick. Pray for our elderly that are, that are hit the most uh, and the hardest with COVID and from COVID sometimes because of uh, the danger just based on age. So I'm gonna give you a moment to pray uh, for somebody, for your family, of course, uh, uh, that uh, pray for our church, pray for our church and the churches in Franklin County. I wanna remind you that tomorrow at 1130, uh, we'll be feeding uh, our teachers there at uh, Franklin County High School. Uh, so. If you're interested in doing that, you'll let me know. Uh, we'll get the word out and uh, you can be a part of that uh, as we uh, to get you the word out as to when to be there. And uh, you can be a part of that tomorrow as well. But let's go to the Lord in prayer. I'm going to give you a few uh, minutes to pray there, a minute or two, and then I'll voice a prayer to close us. Father God, Lord, uh, we just come to you now, Lord, and Lord, we ask that you help us. Lord, that you strengthen us. Uh, Father, we just praise you for who you are, that you are the God that, uh, like David said, you're the God that uh, knows us. Uh, uh, Lord, you know our sitting down, our rising up. Lord, you know our innermost. And Lord, that you also know all our ways. Nothing surprises you. And Father God, Lord, uh, it's just hard for me, like David, just to, to fathom why you would pursue me, Lord, why you would uh, uh, want a relationship with me. But Father God, I'm so grateful that you did. And Father Lord, there's so many out there right now, Lord, that feel that they're unseen. Uh, nobody notices them. But Father God, Lord, the, the God of all heaven and earth notices them. You are pursuing them. You're doing your best to reach them. And Lord, if they would only be able or to uh, have someone come to them and tell them about Jesus, tell them the good news that they may return toward you as you run them down, Father God, Lord, as they would turn, Lord, and notice your pursuit, yielding their spirit and their heart to you that you might save them, that you might redeem them. And know what we know. Know what David knew. Father God, Lord, it would be hard for them to fathom as well as to why the God of all heaven and earth wants them. Why you chose them. Just like it is for us, Lord. It's hard for us to understand why you chose us. But Lord, we're so, so, so glad you did. Father, we lift up those that we have mentioned tonight. Father, we lift up Ricky to you, Lord. We do pray that he gets to come home, Lord, that he would be at home and, uh, Lord, have time to uh, rest and recover there. Father, we thank you for he and Miss Carolyn. Lord, we lift them up to you, Lord. We thank you for the progress he's made. But, Lord, we also pray that you might strengthen him. Lord, give uh, his body rest. Lord, give his body the healing that it needs. Lord, strengthen Miss Carolyn. Uh, as she goes with him, Lord, as she sits and stands by his side, Father, we pray that you strengthen the both of them. 
Father, we thank you for what you've done in the life of Shane, and we do continue to pray, Lord, that uh, the work that you've done through the doctors, Lord, may yield to good results when that time comes. Father, we thank you for taking care of Vic, taking him back and forth, and Lord, we just pray now, Lord, that you would uh, uh, continue to help him uh, remain healthy, and Father God, Lord, watch over him, Lord, and heal his body. Father, for Mr. Billy, we lift him up to you. Lord, we pray that you would help him, watch over him, uh, strengthen him, Miss Jean, Lord. We pray that you would bless him in a mighty way. Uh, Father God, Lord, for Jeff Mayer. Lord, we don't know, uh, hadn't heard a report on him in a while, but Lord, you know. You know his needs. Lord, you know what's going on. And Father, we ask, Lord, that you might strengthen him as well. Be with his family. Father, again, we thank you for a good uh, 20 and 20 in Christ. Lord, it uh, was a tough year. There was some struggles, but Lord, we made it through it. And Lord, you were there with us. Uh, Father God, so we thank you for the good in 2020. And Lord, we look forward to 2021 with anticipation of the things that you're going to do. Lord, for where you're going to lead us. For Lord, how you're going to teach us. Lord, how you're going to strengthen us. And Lord, where you're going to take us. So Father God, Lord, we can give you all things. And uh, Lord, uh, right now, Lord, we can... Lord, just put everything in your hand, trusting you for 2021. Father, we do pray that you be with our teachers as they go back to school and back to work there. We pray that you would just protect them and keep them. Be with our students, Father God. Lord, we ask that you watch over our families. Lord, be with our loved ones right here in the Roxy community. Lord, the ones that are of our church, those elderly. Lord, that are so susceptible to this sickness. And Lord, are the ones that uh, seem to get the sickest. So, Father, we pray your hand of protection upon them. Father, lead us and guide us, Lord, as a church. Lord, help us. Lord, make the right decisions to honor Christ in all things. So, Father, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for saving us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.